as a choreographer, it's something, it's, it's just pushing me into a new direction. Um, it's so it just feels very collaborative in a sense. And uh, decided to do a whole evening of dance. And uh, she thought it would be great if, um, you know, it consisted of more than one choreographer. Because we're all, there's also four different um, choreographers working together. So the collaboration is not necessarily just with our lighting designer, our, our uh, music designer and with Lawrence, but with each other as well. I see my choreography as structuring people in space and how um, to arrange bodies within the space. And normally the more bodies I have, the more excited I am. But um, for this project, I'm using two dancers. When I was reading through the book, I was looking for moments of human connection, because that's nothing that kind of interests me, is how with dance, it's about people. You've got people on stage and you're watching humans. and However abstract you make a piece of choreography, people always read a relationship into it. Although there's quite a lot of space within it, it's really defined. And, I mean, I'm automatically drawn to different bits. There's centre red square I was immediately drawn to. And Lawrence said to me he want, it was the fire and he wanted, he was going to have this sculpture within it. And I was like, no, I want to dance in that. That's the, that's the bit I want. I know we're not, we're not doing it, a sort of retelling, we're not doing like an adaptation of the book and that's been quite clear, I think, for, the, for all the choreographers, for their work to sort of fit together and, and for it to create an evening, it's important that we're not all trying to tell the story from beginning to end. But um, I think it's sort of, yeah, just finding, finding elements and tensions in the book and sort of dramatic tensions and impetuses, which um, can be the starting point for something. And then we've also got the space and anything that you do, I think with movement kind of has meaning when it's in a space and when it's in relation to something else, when it's kind of given that context. And because the context is so interesting, everything suddenly has got so many more meanings. You know, if someone's doing something like this and then it's behind a blind, it becomes something else completely. So it's, it's been really interesting actually going into space and kind of seeing how that actually really affects, affects what, what we're doing in movement. It feels quite alive, you know, I think it could go really in any direction. I'm looking at quite um, a stark, transparent way of moving, um, but also, uh, like the book, um, I'm trying to find a kind of a, a truth in a kind of emotional narrative. Uh, the book has inspired me to choreograph a solo, and I'm I'm going to be taking the the part of the protagonist in the book, which is a character you, you never meet. Um, the audience will never really know where they lie with me as a, as, a, as a character or as just an object or as a sculpture that's moving. You know, we all learn something as creative artists and it pushes us into a new direction. And that, you know, the people who, the audience who come to see it and observe this work think, wow, this is really something different and are kind of inspired by that or, you know, very feel um, perhaps the audiences who would come to see it wouldn't normally go and see dance. So it feels like it might be taking dance into a different arena. Um, yeah, just to create a fantastic event, really.